It's time to take another head count of how many folks live in the U.S. That means you need to be on the lookout for contact with someone from the Census Bureau, regardless of how tiny or remote your town may be. Here's Chris Clackham. Mainly because it's easier to travel when the ground's frozen. Alaska's where the 2020 census has begun. And mainly because a bunch of minorities got left out in the last count. The once a decade census begins with a 90 year old who only speaks in her native Alaskan language. The census is provided for in the Constitution. Census Bureau Director Stephen Dillingham went to Alaska himself to oversee the count kickoff and urge participation by the rest of the country beginning in mid March. Then they can go online and answer the census, or they can do it by phone or they can do it on paper and mail it in. If those attempts fail, a census taker might actually show up at your front door. We call them enumerators and they will knock on the door. What is the 2020 census? As the TV ads say, states rely upon census data to determine how much money they get from D.C. They frequently use the census information for allocating funds and making decisions. Decisions like how many congressional seats a state gets based on the number of people who answer the census. Chris Clackham, NBC News. Chris, thanks. Regardless of your immigration status, the Census Bureau encourages everyone living in the United States to be counted.